Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go over some basic tests that the ICU nurse can do during her physical exam on a patient that is suspected to be brain dead. So the first thing that we want to do is make sure that there's no underlying reason why the patient could be in a coma. It could be something like elevated ammonia, maybe hyponatremia, perhaps the patient is on sedation or was previously on sedation and maybe they were on too much sedation, or was it an overdose patient. Once all of those reasons have been excluded and your patient is still in a coma, here's how I would perform my assessment of checking the brainstem functions. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to speak very loudly and you want to vigorously try to wake up your patient. So let's say our patient's name is Bob. I would go in and I would say, Bob, Bob, hello, Bob. And then I would also try to use some noxious stimuli by doing the sternal rub. If there's no response, then I would go on to perform the other test. Next, I'm doing an assessment of the eyes and pupils. So I would open the patient's eyes and just check, are the eyes fixed and dilated? Are they reactive? Then you would take a nice bright light and see if the pupils are reacting to light at all. I also would do things like try to surprise them with like, with like a visual threat. If there's no response to the noxious stimuli and no response to anything that I've done to the eyes yet, then I would go on to further check the eyes by taking a Q-tip and gently putting the Q-tip on the whites of the eyes to see if there's any response to that. In a normal person, there would definitely be a response. If there's no response, then that could be a sign of brain death. Then we're gonna continue on. Whenever we have a patient that we are suspecting brain death, they are going to be intubated. So the first thing that I do is carefully take the ET tube and kind of move it around and see if that elicits any gag response. If there is no gag response with that, then I would take a tongue depressor and also go back in and try to elicit a gag response. I would also insert the tube to suction my patient to see if I could stimulate a cough. If all of those are still negative, I would move to the extremities and put some noxious stimuli under the nail beds of the hands and the feet. The last thing that I would look at is, is my patient breathing over the vent? Now, especially if the vent is set at a low rating, let's say between 12 and 15 breaths per minute, usually you do see the patient initiate some breaths, which makes the actual breaths higher than the set breaths. So let's say the ventilator is set for 14 breaths per minute and you've been watching your patient's ventilator and they're always just taking the exact 14 breaths per minute, then that is a sign that they're not breathing over the vent. This gets less reliable the higher the ventilator rate is set at. So if the ventilator rate is set at 16, it's not going to be as reliable as if it was set to 12. But it's just another thing that you can watch during your ICU nursing examination. All right guys, I hope you found that helpful. If you wanna see more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up.